In this example, it's a geometric sequence question for the leaving cert higher level course. In a geometric sequence, term 3 is 32 and term 6 is 4, find A and R and hence write down the first six terms of the sequence. Now since it's a geometric sequence, we know that term n is given by the formula a r to the power of n minus 1. Now we know term 3 is 32, so if we put what we know into the formula that n is 3 and the term value is 32, this gives us 32 is a r to the power of 3 minus 1. And we can rewrite this because 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's a r squared. We are also given that term 6 is equal to 4. Again, applying into the formula that term 6 equals 4, that tells us 4 is equal to a r to the power of 6 minus 1. So 4 is equal to a r to the power of 5. So now we have two pieces of information. We have two little equations. Let's label these equation 1 and 2. We want to find the letters at value of a and r. Uh, so we need two equations to do this, and we have two equations. Now, the easiest way to deal with these is if we divide equation 2 by equation 1. Uh, if we do this, the, uh, the a's will eliminate and give us just an equation in r. So let's write equation 2 on top, and below this, we're dividing by uh, uh, equation 1. When we do this, a divides into a once, and r squared divides into r to the power of 5, uh, or cubed times. Also, 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 32 8 times. So let's just write this out neatly now. So this tells us that r cubed is equal to 1 eighth. Now, if r cubed is 1 eighth, r is equal to the cubed root of 1 eighth, and if you use a calculator, you'll see that the cubed root of 1 eighth is 1 half. So now we know the value of r. This is one of the things we're asked for. r is the common ratio, and the common ratio is a half in this geometric sequence. Now we need to find a, but since we know the value of r, let's sub this value, that r is equal to a half, into one of the given equations. Let's go for equation 1. So rewriting equation 1, we have a r squared is equal to 32, which tells us a times a half squared is equal to 32. Now a half squared is a quarter, so this tells us a multiplied by a quarter is equal to 32. If we multiply both sides by 4, this gives us that a is equal to 128. So now we know what the first term a is. It's 128. And each next term is derived by multiplying the previous term by half. So let's write down the first six terms of the sequence. Now the sequence begins with the first term, a. So I know that a is equal to 128. If I multiply this by a half, I get 64. Multiply this by a half, 32, 16, 8, and 4. Now let's check, does this uh, agree with what we were given? We know term a is 128. The question said term 6 is 4. We have that. And term 3 is 32. So it does agree with the information. Thank you for watching.